a game of soccer in the rubble of a civil war. After months of heavy fighting, people are returning to the Baba Amr district in Homs, slowly and cautiously. You know, there's not many places in the world where you can feel how fierce and intense fighting was if you go there after the fact, but Babar Amr is certainly one of those places. The government now says it's in complete control of this area, but you can clearly see just how fierce the fighting here was. During our visit, we couldn't find a single house left unscathed. Baba Amr was one of the first places to fall into opposition hands in the uprising against President Bashar al-Assad. It began with peaceful protests. But what followed was some of the worst fighting in the ongoing conflict, including artillery shelling and air raids by government forces and fierce urban combat that caused thousands of casualties. Now the battle is over and some shops have reopened. Business is okay, he says, but compared to when we returned two months ago, it has really improved because more and more people are coming back. We had a government escort with us as we toured Baba Amr, clearly making it difficult for people to speak openly with us. Regime troops have driven rebels out of many areas in Homs, but it remains a city with two faces. Just a few blocks from the utter destruction, you would never know there had been an armed conflict. The streets are full of life in predominantly Alawite areas loyal to the regime. We got a chance to speak to the governor of Homs, a man respected even by many opponents of the government. He says he believes the turmoil here is almost over. If the support of terrorism is stopped in the media and on the battlefield, I am convinced, God willing, Homs will go back to what it used to be within four months, he told us. The governor says he's trying to reach out to opposition fighters not affiliated with Islamist groups, even offering an amnesty for those who surrender. Rebels still control some places. The government estimates that about 7,000 are holed up in neighborhoods, especially in the old city. The fighting continues there, as fierce as ever, says one opposition activist we managed to reach on Skype. There are hundreds of thousands living in tents and hundreds of thousands living under siege, he says. There are tanks and rockets fired on a daily basis. This is what the regime and its supporters want. For many months, Homs was the symbol and epicenter of the uprising against the Assad regime. What remains is a city divided between those who want to forget the civil war and those still entrenched fighting on. And places like Baba Amr that serve as a warning to both sides what might happen to other parts of Syria if the civil war isn't brought to an end. Fred Plake in CNN, Homs, Syria.